so Blackburn's Chris Sutton is relieved of the tag that until this week made him the most expensive player in the country at £5 million. And Stan Collymore looked for a while as though he might have such a label pinned on him, but for the moment he stays with Nottingham Forest. And after this week's events, the value of Alan Shearer is anybody's guess, but for the time being, he looks like a bargain at £3.3 million. But Blackburn's expensive resources are really stretched today. They're without Tim Sherwood, who's suspended, Stuart Ripley and Graham Lasseau, both injured. So Alan Wright starts for the first time this season. ...at left back, Robbie Slater comes in on the right, and Paul Warhurst moves into centre midfield. Nottingham Forest are also without their England left back, Stuart Pearce, who, like Lasseau, picked up a training injury. So, with Colin Cooper suspended, Carl Tyler plays his first game of the season and Alf Inga Haaland switches to left back. And happily recovered from his appendicitis operation, the Blackman manager, Kenny Dalgleish. Well, these are exciting times at Blackburn. They've got an FA Cup replay against Newcastle coming up on Wednesday, then they play Manchester United, it's, uh, it's all happening and uh, the chance today to go six points clear in the Premiership. Colin Hendry is the captain in the absence of Tim Sherwood. Forrester wearing black shorts today and playing from the right. Little. Second chance to cross it. There's Wohn. Now it's David Phillips. His ability to shoot from distance, well known to uh, supporters of his previous clubs as well. But it was safely held. Hendry. out to the right wing now here's Shearer Tyler's got to get close to him here he didn't good save and the save from Crossley took the ball away from the player running in who was Wilcox here's Wright Warhurst it's opened up in front of him here it's Holland. And now it's Collymore. Well, that was the first moment of danger from Blackburn. Shearer finding a little bit of space away from Carl Tyler. Well, you get the feeling something's going to come from Atkins or Warhurst. They're getting some good space in that midfield. This is Berg. Now it's Slater. Berg coming forward again, Sutton. Oh, it's Chettle who played it straight to Wilcox. And had to recover. That's in by Wright. Chettle gets up first. Well... It's looking more and more as though these two central midfield players are going to be important today for Blackburn. Mark Atkins hit that superbly. He and Warhurst are just sitting behind the strikers and getting space. And when the ball comes out of a defender's head like that from Chettle, it's an open invitation. What a lovely strike and what a good tip over by Mark Crossley. It's been played back to Berg. Chris Sutton at the far post, Shearer. The pair of them still there. Hendry is forward here. And suddenly, look at that ball from Collymore. Good vision. Scott Gemmell, Roy and Collymore in the centre. And he stumbled into the second tackle. And the chance went. 
but that's classic Forest counter-attacking. Here's Shearer. Couldn't put it in the path of uh, Atkins, but he's found Warhurst. Now Slater. And Wilcox continued his run on this side. They're waiting on the far side. Shearer, Atkins and Sutton lined up in there. And here comes Sutton. Good header out. Very good header by Des Little. He's injured, but play goes on. And Paul Warhurst backing up. Well, I think it would have been a goal. The referee didn't see fit to stop the play, although there was an injured Forest defender, Des Little, lying on the six-yard line. So had that gone in, we might have had a bit of a debate. It's a good strike by Warhurst. He's curled it away from Crossley and just away from the post. Here's Sutton. Atkins. This is right. Wilcox. Warhurst. Berg. Here's Warhurst again. shot went straight through it may have taken a slight deflection off a forest player but Warhurst it was who struck it from distance it's caught oh it's caught Tyler and may well be recorded as an own goal I don't know the way they change scorers these days in the Premier League some weeks later we'll have to wait and see but Nottingham Forest Four behind, Warhurst shot and Carl Tyler back in action today for the first time this season at senior level has the misfortune to change the path of the ball and give Crossley no chance. And here's Stan Collymore. Forrest looking to him now to lead a recovery. This is Stone, who's probably been their best attacker today. Collymore again. I think Hendry's relishing this challenge against Collymore. Stone. Little. Collymore's coming in behind them all. Well, there was no free kick given, and I don't think uh, Hendry or Flowers would have been terribly pleased if that had squeezed in. As it is, Blackman are back on the attack. This is Wilcox. Oh, good defending Holland against Shearer. I've seen Shearer score from there many times. The left back did ever so well to get in on the cover. Here he is again, Holland. Nice turn by Wone, and here's Phillips. It's Stone now. There's the cross by Des Little. Now, Collymore has sneaked on the other side of Hendry. And he did well to get a header in from there, didn't he? Corner to Forrest. Chettle's in the heart of that, but... Uh, Blackburn had pulled everybody back to defend and they're still in a long line there. Little. Here comes Tyler again. And a tip over by an acrobatic Tim Flowers from Carl Tyler. Very keen to <laughs> level the score in more ways than one. But anyway, Forrest pressing here. Chettle's up as well. So is Holland. Uncanny how often Shearer is the player who clears from corners when he's doing his defensive bit. He seems to know where to stand. Here's Chettle. In it goes by Phillips. Wone. And here's Gemmel. 
and Haaland and another deflection. <laughs> well, that could have gone in off the defender as well. Berg and Hendry threw themselves at the shot. And Forrest have a corner. In fact, it's their third in quick succession. Tyler again. And Shearer again. And good play. Hendry trying to open it out to Slater. Chettle covering. A booming kick again from Mark Crossley towards Collymore. And he's penalised. Well, there's the Carl Tyler header and Flowers just as the necessary. This is Slater. Berg, Slater again, only Shearer in the middle at the minute, Sutton's out here on the right, that's his cross, Wilcox is now in the centre too, there he is, and Shearer! Oh! Well, good save, everybody's human, and Shearer proves it. <laughs> what a good stop by Mark Crossley, but what an opportunity for Blackman to go 2-0 clear. It's a suspicion of offside perhaps, is it? But anyway, the header back in... Shearer's volley, but look, it was straight at the goalkeeper. Well, what weather conditions we've got here now. Warhurst chucks it through to Shearer. Oh, he's got Wilcox running on. Oh, and good defending again by the left-back, Holland. Absolutely outstanding game, especially when he's coming to cover the central defenders. Sutton working hard on the right-hand side. Oh, he's found Jason Wilcox! It's two! And a goal well taken by Wilcox, but nicely carved out by Chris Sutton, who shows he's not just a goal scorer. Look at that accurate pass with the inside of the foot. It split the whole defence, and Wilcox comes in from the other side to tuck it in. Good stuff from Sutton, and if they're, they're caught really, Forrest, they haven't tracked Wilcox's run, and he makes it 2-0 with about 12 minutes to go. This is Collymore. That's his best effort of the afternoon. He hasn't had a chance to test Tim Flowers, except with one header. Until then. Oh, they've got Shearer and Sutton waiting and Wilcox. Berg backs up. Wilcox going across to help the builder, Atkins. Sutton's on this side now. Oh, it's got it off the defender. It's 3-0, Chettle couldn't keep it out. Well, that does settle it now. Chris Sutton with the header. Steve Chettle on the line. 3-0 Blackburn. Atkins cross, Sutton's header away from... Well, that, I think, has to be an own goal, doesn't it? And Blackburn Rovers go six points clear in the FA Carling Premiership. And Kenny Dalglish, back from appendicitis, witnesses what in the end was a comfortable victory.
It's Blackburn Rovers 3, Nottingham Forest 0, and it's over to you, Manchester United.